So individuals who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender are at increased risk of mental health problems. This is probably due to the uh, stigma and discrimination that they experience. So they have increased need for mental health interventions. But we know very little about whether they actually benefit equally from the mental health interventions that we currently offer. So we looked at this by analysing data from all the um, improving access to psychological therapy services in England over a two-year period. What we found was that for psychological interventions that were offered for depression or anxiety, that lesbian and bisexual women had poorer treatment outcomes than heterosexual women. We also found that bisexual men had poorer treatment outcomes than heterosexual men and gay men. The good news was that the gay men didn't have significantly worse outcomes than the heterosexual men, but for all these other minority groups, we need to improve their treatments. Now, one thing that would help us to improve our treatments is we had a better understanding of the factors that might be involved in mental health problems in these um, groups. So I'm going to tell you about two longitudinal studies that we uh, did looking at these factors. So in the first, Kunlia Guinea um, found that people who identified as a sexual minority age 15 went on to report more suicidal ideation and self-harm at age 20 years. And we found um, two mediation pathways were um, supported for this. One was um, via low self-esteem, which was um, measured at 17 years. That was a, one direct mediation pathway. And we also found another pathway which went via low self-esteem to more depression, and then that was associated with more suicidal ideation or self-harm. So that indicates that by targeting self-esteem, that might help us to reduce um, suicidal ideation or self-harm later on and depression. So in the second longitudinal study, we wanted to unpack that a bit further. So this was with LGBT plus UK university students who were asked to complete questionnaires on three occasions, each a month apart. This was um, part of Georgina Ganan's PhD. So at time one, we, we assessed um, low self-esteem and other negative general beliefs. We found that those beliefs at time one were associated with more depression, anxiety, and more suicidality two months later but we found different mechanisms for those um, associations. So for the depression and anxiety, we found that having lower self-esteem and non more negative beliefs at time one was associated with more depression and anxiety, partly because of more rumination, which is kind of over-analyzing, trying to think about why you're feeling low, and also more avoidance. That could be more um, behavioral avoidance or more avoidance of thinking about difficult things. Whereas for suicidality, we found that Part of, that, part of the association between these um, more general beliefs and um, low self-esteem was partly mediated by more concealment of one's um, LGBT plus identity and more rumination specifically about LGBT <coughs> issues. So for suicidality, that mediation pathway was more specifically around LGBT plus issues. So we're drawing on these and other findings that our research has done to develop a new intervention to target low self-esteem in young LGB plus um, individuals. So this is in young adults. This is part of Livia Bridges' PhD, and Lovedeep Ray is also working on this as part of her Deeply Inside project. So it's a six session cognitive behavior therapy intervention. Everybody gets two core modules shown in red here, the self-criticism and the um, general negative beliefs about the self. And then the therapist and the um, young person decide which other modules they want to focus on that might be involved in their low self-esteem. So this could be difficulties around coming out, um, it could be trying to improve their social support as a young LGB person, um, it could be to reduce their overthinking and rumination or reducing their avoidance and so on. So this is just a pilot study at the moment, but we really hope it will show promising results to try and improve self-esteem in these young people because this does seem to be one factor that is involved in their increased risk for mental health problems. Thank you.